Yeah, so we had um, the coordinator position that was funded by SAF was for, uh, I can't remember exactly how many weeks, but it was for the summer. Uh, so we began in spring with the design project, and this was actually in congruence with one of my early uh, permaculture design certification courses that we did. So we were uh, at the same time working with People's Potato to redesign and reshape their garden. Uh, and the principles that we were using were really designing the pathways so that they're leveled and they end up being self-irrigation. So when it rains, they flood, irrigate the, the whole garden. So the same system was done in the mandala gardens that the tea garden was made out of. So these are circular gardens that have paths that are dug deep but level. And so when a rain comes, it fills up and it stays there and slowly soaks back into the garden instead of just running off into the sewers. So it ends up being a, also a, a buffer for rainwater during the, the, the wet season. Uh, we also put mulch on the garden so that it self uh, cools the soil and it keeps a better habitat for microbes and organisms, which in turn produce fertilizers to actually help the plants grow. So it doesn't require fertilizing. Um, because of these paths and the mulch, it doesn't require irrigating. Because of the heavy amounts of mulch, it doesn't require uh, weeding. So it really reduces the labor. But um, for us, the process was really to start with the design, figure out something that was appropriate, uh, and then begin by digging, leveling these paths putting down a, a biodegradable cardboard layer which will actually kill out the grass that exists and then attract a whole bunch of earthworms to start aerating the compact lawn that we were working on. And then we planted in guilds which are basically uh, beneficial associations of plants that work together. So you have in vegetable gardening we have tomatoes and basil. We have these ideas that the plants actually support each other and, and work uh, in benefit. So we had this set up in the, the herb garden. We planted those and then put down the straw mulch uh, as our final dressing. So this was all the work that was done. It took us uh, pretty much all of the summer. We had two interns from Satoshi's program um, and they really helped us work a lot. And we had a couple other volunteers that, uh, that helped us put in the garden. Great, could you actually uh, give us a timeline of uh, when things happened? I think it was the summer of 2010. Um, and really we, I remember it ending uh, two days after my birthday, August 20th, because, and I remember this day very significantly because that day uh, Concordia had paid a tree removal company to cut down a poplar, probably about a 50-foot poplar. And it was $500 cheaper for them to drop the tree directly on the garden than it was to make the gar tree miss the garden. So I remember working all summer long, starting in the spring, getting the garden ready, getting the, finding, sourcing the plants, designing it, building all the materials that we needed and then it was literally we were touching it up and we had one bed left to finish and they dropped the tree on the garden and that was my last it was also my last day of my contract and Leonard was to take it on for the next three weeks um, but I remember being devastated they came in dropped the tree completely on it uh, and then the tree cutting crew left and the cleanup crew came and they couldn't see that there was a garden so they came in with their industrial leaf blowers and rakes and started shredding the garden ripping out plants and <laughs> this was a it was the same day that I was supposed to be interviewed about the project by the link and the woman arrived and I was just in tears, uh, curled up in a ball, <laughs> huddling some plants that I had saved. Um, but the beauty of the garden was that because they were perennial, because it was already set up uh, and we intervened and, and stopped half of the, the cleanup process, uh, the garden actually thrived. It actually, we, with a little bit of tweaking and, and, and replanting some of the plants that had been disturbed, um, it still took off and it still blossomed and, and it's, uh, it's going still today.